Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Kirsten from Redfield Crafts. Uh, this video, I'm um, sorry about any background noise. Um, both of my kids are home this week uh, due to things going around Europe. Um, I'm not sure if you guys are up to date on some of the news that's been happening around here in Europe, um, but there's this thing going around called the coronavirus. And in Italy, there's not really much um, cases of it. Um, there are a couple of regions that are um, on lockdown. So they're not letting any people into those regions and they're not letting any people leave. Um, one of the regions is out west towards um, Verona and the other re region is um, south of us in Venice. Um, so a lot of like, um, if you're not familiar, we are um, stations in Italy right now, so we're living in Italy. Um, so a lot of the Italian schools and asilos, which is like their preschools, are closed right now. And both my kids are here, so they're eating snacks and watching TV, so I'm sorry about that noise. Um, but as of right now, our DOD uh, military school on base closed for the week. So, both my kids are here all week. Yay me. So yeah, that's one thing that we're dealing with. So right now we're kind of confined to our town. Um, luckily, there's no um, cases of that virus here. But there are a lot of people sick and everything like that. So yeah, fun times. Um, Who are you talking to? I'm talking to my YouTube friends. How about you just eat your snack and watch TV, please? No, you can't be on camera. Because I said so. That's my daughter, everyone, Piper. She's um, a little miss ass. Um, so yeah, I haven't really, it's been a couple weeks since I've probably posted anything and I haven't really done anything. Um, I've been working on Christmas blankets, trying to get a jump start on 10 Christmas blankets that I and making. Oh, my camera seems a little off. I don't know. Sorry guys. Um, so yeah, um, the first blanket that I um, actually finished was my 12 point star blanket um, that I made for my niece. Um, I got the pattern from Jada and Stitches. It's her 12, 12 point star blanket that she um, did. I will leave a link to her pattern or her video down below in the description box for you guys. Um, so this blanket is huge. Um, it's huge for a three-year-old. It covers me up. I'm 5'6". Um, I'm not going to show it all to you guys in the camera, but that is the center and it just goes out. So yeah, it is huge. Um, yeah, I used, ooh, grab it. I used the Lion Brand Cupcake Yarn right here in this color. This color is called Too Too Much. On this blanket, I used four balls or four cakes of this and just a tiny, like literally, a tiny little little bit of the fifth cake. So if you wanted to make, I think this probably will fit on a full size bed. Um, so yeah, that was four and just a little bit of the fifth. But if you want to make this bigger to like fit maybe a queen size bed, um, five or six cakes. Well. Maybe, maybe eight cakes, but yeah, bless you. This was done just all double crochet and I used my size five millimeter clover hook. So yeah, that was the first blanket I did. Bless you. So yeah, really like it. Um, I'm not gonna block it because it's just going to a three-year-old but I will 
um, take a picture of this um, probably on my bed so you guys can see the full effect of it. Ugh, just trying to get it folded up. So yeah, that was one blanket done. The only thing I have to do is weave in my ends. And that is it. So, blanket number one. Finished. Ugh, sorry guys. Um, so yeah, the next blanket that I'm working on is for my nephew. Um, I am using, again, Lion Brand Cupcake Yarn. This is the colorway um, Moody Blue. So it's got a dark blue and then it fades out to a nice light blue. And then it goes to like a tan and then green, like a lime green. So bright right there. Um, so yeah, this... Oh, okay. So this is my fifth ball. And uh, put that right there. Shh. So this is what four balls. Oh, can you see? Boop. So four balls so far. All right. One, two, three. Yeah. So this is four balls. Um, I would say four balls is definitely a perfect lap gain. Um, but I want to make this a little bit bigger for my nephew. So I'm about to start on my fifth ball and I actually just ordered three more of these. So I'm hoping um, the next three will be enough to finish it and to put, put a border around the whole thing. So yeah. Um, but yeah, the stitch that I am using is the waffle stitch. So. <laughs> All right, shh, guys. So yeah, waffle stitch. Uh, there's tons of tutorials on how to do the waffle stitch um, on YouTube. It's very simple, double crochet, back post, or front post double crochets. It's the only stitches you need to know how to do. And for that, I'm also using the same hook, my five millimeter clover hook to do it. It's definitely a nice, thick weighted blanket, the waffle stitch. This is my first time using or doing the waffle stitch and I really, really like it. So it's definitely a nice weighted blanket, which is good for New England weather because our family lives in New England. So this will be perfect for next winter. So yeah, and I love the colorways. I have even like, this is my, when this was smaller. So when I was like one or two balls into it, this is my, um, go-to project for when I was at my daughter's dance class and I got so many compliments on it that they can't wait to see the finished project but I don't think I'm gonna be bringing it to her class tomorrow which it will be Wednesday because um, it might just be too big and I won't have any more yarn by then so yeah these are the two projects that I have been working on the past couple weeks um, the only other thing that I did finish was a Valentine's garland, which I do have a tutorial for. Um, I think it was, I think it was my last video that I uploaded, to be honest, or it can have been two videos ago. I'm not sure. Uh, if you guys want, I will leave a link to that video down below, or you can just go check it out yourselves. So yeah, that is all that I have been working on: my one FO and my one whip. Um, I do have some acquisitions. Um, the first that I'm gonna show you is um, here in Italy or in our town, uh, there's a local Tuesday market every week. Um, I go to it just about every week for my friend, my neighbor. And last week, um, it's starting to warm up here. So I wanted to get some of the um, Italian wools that they had at this one little yarn craft vendor that they, that's there. Um, cause I've been eyeing this yarn for like the past two, three months, but it's expensive. It's eight euro a ball, um, which is like nine, nine fifty US dollars. Um, so I got three different colors of this, this kind, cause my intention is to make a, um, triangle scarf slash shawl 
for myself for next winter, depending on where we move. I haven't decided yet, but I'm gonna take these out. So, this is the yarn. This is like a navy blue with sparkle. I can't really see the teal, but that's like a teal, dark teal with sparkle. And a cream with sparkle. So I figured all three of these alternating would make a really nice scarf. And I'm not really much of a sparkle person, but I love this. Love it. All right, so about this yarn, it is called Aprika. So right there, Aprika. Um, there's a picture of a lady wearing a scarf on there, on the label. Uh, this is, let's see, it is a 150 gram ball. So it's 360 meters. So it's roughly, I want to say close to 400 yards in this one ball. And I got three, so that's 1,200 yards. Um, it looks, I would say it's probably a size four, four weight yarn. I don't know if y'all can see that. Um, it is 25% alpaca, 25% wool, 47% acrylic, and 3% polyester. Um, so yeah, it's gonna be one of those wash, why would we wash or safe, and then lay flat, I would assume. But yeah, and it's really soft. I don't know if y'all will be able to see. Hope I can show you guys the halos and the alpaca. I don't know if it's showing up. Come on, camera. There's a little bit right there. I don't know. But yeah, so that's my first acquisition that I got. And I cannot wait to start this. I just have to find a pattern that I like that I want this to be in. Um, I'm thinking a triangle, or um, duh, triangle. I'm thinking granny scarf, or granny triangle. I just haven't decided yet. I don't know. But yeah. Ooh. It goes back in the ball. And then the next thing, um, I have been wanting to try knit create yarns for I don't know past year or so since people have been posting videos about it so I went and got a knit, knit crate membership um, now me blonde moment I didn't join up I joined I think January 28th so in this bag right here I already opened it I've had this for a couple weeks now I've been waiting to get my February knit crate to um, show you guys um, but I already opened this because I got the January um, knit crate right here and they didn't have any boxes when they um, sent it to me so I got a little coupon for one of my next knit crate off um, so y'all everyone has seen the January so you get the little booklet and everything like that and the little extra uh, put that down. But the one that they sent to me were these colors right here. It's the Knitology Brooklyn Boys Knit Brooklyn Boy Knits. Um, they're both worsted weight, 225 yards each, 100% super wash merino wool. Um, this one right here is Golden Lion, and this one is Safari Sunset. Right there, there you go. So yeah, I really, really love the way the wool feels. So the whole point of me wanting to do Knit Crate was obviously to try the yarn and what my plan is, or my goal, is I am going to do um, the patterns that are in these, the booklets, with the yarn. Um, I'm gonna pick a pattern um, and I picked for the January one, I'm going to do the actual, the crochet, um, 
pattern, which is the Inbound Cowl by Vincent Williams of, of Visuvo Crafts. So, the cowl right there. I'm going to do that. That's crochet. And I've already looked it over, and it's a very simple arrow shaped. Um, let's see if I can just show you the, the motif that they have right there. That's all it is. So, yeah. Gonna be doing that with this yarn. So, once I am finished with this fifth ball for my nephew's blanket, I will start that. And hopefully, in my next video, I will show you that finished project. So, the reason why I showed you the January one is because I got my February knit crate today. Like, we literally just went to the post office on base and got this. Um, I have not opened it, so I'm going to open it with you guys. I am super excited. This is, like, February's. Um, yarn choices are the main reason why I joined up this year or already um, the colors for February are gorgeous I don't care which one um, I get I didn't choose the color that I wanted I um, what was it I didn't yeah I didn't um, booklet. let me grab the booklet real quick this one um, yeah, I didn't, um, I didn't specify if I wanted the, the Energize Me, the All Natural, or the Chill Out colorways. I went with the Surprise Me, basically, because I'm not picky, and I'm just going to be doing the patterns in it. So, yeah, i going to open this up with you guys. Got my scissors. I'm going to open it right now and I am going to show you guys the color first. I don't know if you guys can see that. Ah! Jesus! We got the chill out! Oh my god. I actually really wanted that one. If I had to choose which one I really wanted, it would be the one with the blue and the purple. Or the um, the all natural. Only the, I wouldn't mind the pink one, but I'm not really much a pink person. But oh my god, look! It's got pretty blues and some purples on a cream base. Oh my goodness! Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so soft. This is this is wow. That is definitely. Like, what do they classify this as? So this is a sport weight, which I definitely agree because it's thin. So, Aldine Wools by Nick Crate with Creative Grandma. I know we all watch Creative Grandma. Glenda is fabulous. So 80% superwash merino wool. So I'm going to show you guys right there. And 20% tinsel, 350 yards in each of these hanks. So that's 700 yards total. Oh my goodness. And suggested needle size is a US 2 to 4. So a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Um, machine wash, tumble dry low. Oh my god. So, so pretty. Dye lots are the same. So that's the yarn. Oh my god, it's so soft, guys. And this button. Oh my god, look at that button, guys. Look at that button, y'all. It's nice. It's heavy. It's definitely a heavy weighted button. Um, it's by buttonmad.com. You can also find them on Etsy at incomparablebuttons.etsy.com. It's giving employment to women in South Africa. Homemade, fully washable buttons. Wow. That is a heavy-duty ceramic button. Now, I wouldn't use this button. 
with this yarn only because this is so such thin yarn definitely like a size four like a four weight or even maybe a bulky for that so that's that and then of course we all know the pattern booklet and then you also get the theme peak for next month which is called wanderings there it's next month I'm a little late to the party everyone gets their um, boxes way before I do um, living overseas we don't this will probably be the time that I normally get these boxes every month um, so yeah in the booklet a little information about Glenda from creative grandma okay so right here are the membership yarn choices that we could have gotten. So, the Energize Me, which is the flirt. Uh, focus. I don't know if this is gonna focus, guys, I'm sorry. And then the All Natural, and then the Chill Out. I guess the flirt, the Energize Me one wouldn't be too bad. Definitely bright and cheery. Definitely my daughter's colors. So yeah, a um, bunch of patterns, knit and crochet patterns. Um, I haven't decided what I would want to do yet. So yeah gonna be looking through this some more later and I will be picking a pattern to do with this yarn. I'm so excited for this yarn you guys. No idea. I'm really hoping to get this color or the sprout. Oh it's so soft. But yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. And that is it guys that is all I have to share with you um, on my finished objects one of my whips knit create and a couple other acquisitions um so yeah no they were there daughter's trying to be sneaky and coming over here and say hi you can get a hug after yes <laughs> um but yeah uh, I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your week. Um, if you haven't already, subscribe. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Um, don't forget to hit the little notification bell if you would like to be notified when I upload a new video. Um, yeah, I guess that is all I have to share with you guys. <laughs> My daughter being sneaky. <laughs> Alright, um, guys, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I will talk to you all soon. Bye.